the trials that were stopped earlier than planned, on average, overestimated, exaggerated the treatment effect by 30%. Um, furthermore, about two-thirds of the studies that were not stopped early, uh, did not, when you pull them all together, they do not, did not find a significant treatment effect at all. Uh, so not only uh, in two-thirds of the time, not only were the studies misleading in terms of how big the treatment effect was really, but also whether a treatment effect existed at all. What is happening is they're catching the data at a random high. The data is accumulating and eventually at one point it looks like a big effect, but if you let it go a little bit, that effect may become smaller over time. What the investigators are, are, are caught on is when they look at the data at a given point in time before the study was supposed to finish and they find a large treatment effect, they, um, uh, then they get misled by that treatment effect and then, in, in fact, if they decide to stop at that point, they end up misleading everyone else when they publish the results. The majority of the studies that come to large clinical trials are known to have l small treatment effects. That's why you need a large trial to begin with. Um, and if you believe that treatment has a small treatment effect if, and you find a large one, first of all, you probably should not believe it. And second, uh, uh, you probably should let it go all the way to completion so you, you will be able to have a better sense of whether this small treatment effect um, is real, and if it's real, how does it compare to the harms and costs so people can make better choices?